The difference between the people that were before me that have imagery of low riding is that they never, they didn't have a car. When I was doing this shit, I had a car first. I had a low rider before I had a camera. If you're a guy who bought a car and you do everything to the car, have it done, you're a lowrider, you know, you're, I, I see him more as a curator of that art project. And they're picking the guy who's doing the engine, they're picking the guy who does the hydraulics, they're picking the painter, they're picking the muralist, the pinstriper, the chromer, the upholstery guy, you know, like they're curating their best team to make that art piece. It's all different. Every car is completely different. Every car is one of one. So as a as art, I mean, that's you can't get any more original than that. I first saw Lowriders in the 80s. I think around the early 90s is when it started exploding. And then I believe it kind of fell off in the early 2000s. I'd say it was kind of like the ones who were the dedicated lowriders, those of us that had cars, we were lowriders till the end, we're still here. My friend had the money and I didn't have the money at that time when I found this car and he's like, you know what, I'll buy it and then you buy it for me when you save up the money. I was like, perfect. So he had a couple months and then uh, he sold it to me, got it for like uh, 1800 It was kind of a bucket, you know, it had uh, some rust, rust spots on it, like, you know, holes, cancer holes, but we did the did the body work and got it painted at Leon's Leon's Auto Body off of uh, Florence and, and Dinker over there at South Central. I don't know what they even call it. Like in the mid like 2010 ish. Probably around 2012, 2013, it, it started picking back up and now it's off the hook again. And one of my favorite movies by David Lynch with Dennis Hopper, Isabella Rossellini, and it's called uh, Blue Velvet. So um, I named my car after it and I had uh, my homie uh, do a mural of one of my favorite scenes of Dennis Hopper with a oxygen mask with uh, Isabella Rosalini. So I was like, can you put this on my glove compartment? Being the pro that he is, he hooked it up. Shin from Japan did that mural. It. New clubs coming out. Back when we came out in the 90s, there wasn't that many clubs compared to now. There was a lot of clubs, but now people are making car clubs out of like their clothing brand or their just themselves. They have their own name on their car and they only have one car, one plaque. For us, it was like you wanted to be a part of a historical car club, you know, like something that was, uh, you know, that had history. Like when I got into my car club, there was already 20 years of history probably, you know, that was going, you know. My dad had photos of them in the early 80s of my car club back then. When I got in, I was like, my dad was like, hey, what, what are you up to, man? I go, oh, I got into this car club, you know, and I told him, you know, the name and everything. He was like, oh yeah, man, I got pictures of that. And so he brought out his pictures from like either the early 80s or late 70s. 
and I was like, I was tripping out on that, you know, like, damn, my pops has pictures of the beginning, you know? My name is Esteban Oreo, I'm born and raised in Los Angeles, and I've been low riding since the early 90s. Low riding's popping. Right now, everybody wants to have like the coolest, hottest, biggest shit. So the price went up. You know, like Fat Joe says, you know, yesterday's price isn't today's price.